Hey everybody, welcome to HBCU Original. We got today Money Mike and JL Williams. But one uh, message from our sponsor. Today's show is sponsored by Swift Pro for all your marketing needs. Want to be a sponsor? It's simple. Just email us for more info. Now back to the show. Yeah, we're going to have Mike um, start off the conversation today. Everybody. All right, all right. Hey. How you brothers doing, man? How you feeling? How is uh everybody good? Uh feeling? Yes, sir, man. We making it making it do what it do today. Having a great time. Glad to be here amongst the living. Praise God. All is well. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Well, that's you know, we go to um we go we're gonna rise it on up today. And uh because I want to talk to you brothers about uh FAMU, 237 million dollar donation. Wow. Uh, and uh, largest in the history of the HBCU. Now, there could be other recorded endowments that uh, we're unaware of that they represented it as the largest. And the shocking uh, response, and again, this is different for me, uh, coming out of corporate enterprise business, corporate America, where the FAMU has received the donation. And mm. now... We have other HBCUs who are questioning and calling it a scam. Now, mm. I've seen a lot of things in business. I've seen a lot of money given, and I've never seen a situation <laughs> where you have a group, which the HBCU, we're all under one umbrella. Yeah, Why would yeah. we question somebody else's $237 million that they have said, Dr. Robinson, the president, has said they have done their due diligence. So, fellas, I'm confused. And, and you know, I'm coming from California, but I'm saturating myself in HBCU. And I'm going to let you guys explain yeah. this one. All right. Well, so, you know Vince, well, you, John, go ahead. You know what, man? You know, I, I, I'm going to question it because it ain't in my account. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Lord, I hear Lord, you. I'm trying I to hear you. you, man. Hey, I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna question it all the way live until I get my <laughs> right. And sometimes, and sometimes having that kind of taking that kind of position, you know, uh, you know, may may you know just sort of perk the ears of of, of people that are in the spirit of giving. That may want to mm. come and, and slide by, slide by my my HBCU and and, and, and drop a, and and, yeah. and and drop some love over here, right? That's right. So sometimes, Absolutely. sometimes, sometimes we can get in that space. And then watch this: if it's not coming in the traditional manner that we, that everybody is used to, this gentleman, uh, you know, um, he invests in cryptocurrency. Now mm -hmm. we all know cryptocurrency has been out here. You have banks that have their own coin. You have all kind of entities that have bought into it. Mm -hmm. It's a thing right now, right? It's a thing. So um, the questions come because I believe it didn't come from a traditional uh, uh, traditional way. So, you know, mm -hmm. uh, he may not have had the financial portfolio uh, of an individual that has a whole lot of resources and, and money and status. So it didn't come from that. So it comes from somewhere, uh, you know, that is that that is uh, unfamiliar territory. And yeah. so now we mm -hmm. have we question that. But, uh, you know, one of the things I like to say is great things are born outside the system. Mm -hmm. And it's mm -hmm. outside. It's outside the system by which, you know, people are investing today. There are a lot of overseas stuff. There's a lot of stuff going on where people are trading and they're doing a whole lot of different uh, kinds of things. We got we got a lot of young people that I work with that are really heavy, heavy into the whole trading piece and they're making good money. I mean, they're making money mm -hmm. from it. So, uh, you know, so if somebody is in the trading and they make millions of dollars and they donate to an organization or they donated to a charity or they donated to St. Jude's or, or a HBCU. Um, mm -hmm. Are they going to come up under fire? Is that, are those, yeah. you know, those, those darts going to be flown at them as well because it didn't yeah. come from a, 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 a traditional uh, situation that people are used to it uh, coming from. And see, these are the kind of right. questions uh, that we need to be asking even these, mm -hmm. these universities and these people that are, um, are, are posturing themselves 
to question what what this is all about. You know, why is mm-hmm. this, you know, it's cryptocurrency. We don't, you know, we don't, yeah. you know, and because I'm not familiar with it. And it didn't right. come from it. it didn't it didn't come from a traditional institution. Now okay. I feel a little uncomfortable about the donation. And not only that, I feel uncomfortable because mm-hmm. it didn't come to my school. Okay, you okay. Know what, Vin, <coughs> Vince, let me ask you something. Let me ask you before you get started, because I heard John talk a lot about tradition. What what's the <laughs> traditional way that the HBCU gets their money? What what's the traditional way? Now, let me tell you, I donate and um you know, we had conversations before, you know, I donate a lot of money to Boy State and mm-hmm. they just, they really just reach out to me. They reach mm-hmm. out to me and ask me to make a donation and yeah. they, they call me three, four times a year. A, a uh, you know, can you donate, uh, you know, 250? Can you donate 500? Can you donate a thousand uh, for a scholarship student? And that's the way I normally have donated over the last 20 years. Um, they always reach out uh, now going forward 20 years later times have changed like john you know alluded to um people are making money different ways and and they're and they're getting money donated different ways uh mike my question is why are we questioning you know as you know as long as the money is not coming from some illegal source why are we questioning a donate a donated you know funding uh, they don't they don't question uh my money and i'm not saying i'm not i'm mm-hmm. not i don't give a big dollar but they don't question my, and mine comes anonymous you know anonymous so why not question mm-hmm. the small amounts you know why are you questioning that that you know it's because it's a million dollars they and, and and don't people i think people don't don't know but they always get donated money in the millions and you just don't hear about it just mm-hmm. for, like this for instance boy state just got uh, you know 20 million dollars um anonymous not even like mm-hmm. two years ago. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. you know, um, you know, you just because you don't, you know, like, it's like John said, just because you don't know who it, where it came from, uh, you know, it's, it's, it, and my thing, it's none of your business. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. Take the mm-hmm. donation exactly. and, and, and let, let it be put into, you know, uh, a favorable way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There was a gentleman, uh, Money Mike, there was a gentleman uh, that went to Delaware State University that became a multimillionaire because he owns a chain of restaurants and this chain of restaurants really are doing great all across the country. I'm sure he owns other businesses as well. And so he made a very, very, very favorable donation to uh, Delaware State University. Uh, I haven't heard any backlash about that, right? Because it comes from a source that they can identify with that makes them feel comfortable. Oh, he, he has a, uh, uh, restaurants. He has different businesses. And so his donation is legitimate. But you know what? I got friends of mine uh, that do extremely well in network marketing. And when I say extremely well, I'm talking about making $150,000, $200,000 every 30 days. I mean, these are wow. people that are in my, these are people that are in my phone that I could call right now uh, mm-hmm. that make that kind of money. I got friends that operate, uh, and manipulate different uh, stocks and all those kinds of things that that work in Dubai. They have offices in Dubai, and they make wow. they make money in a very untraditional manner uh, right. that is that is outside the norm of the system that we have been accustomed to seeing. And so, because we're accustomed to seeing it, we feel comfortable about it. But the right. real money that's made <laughs> in this world today is not made. Uh, in in you know just going to school getting good grades and getting a good job that's not that's not that's not how money is made millionaires are made any between the hours of 5 p.m and 4 a.m in the morning Mm -hmm. uh that's that millionaires operate around the clock they don't operate uh just a traditional eight hour day and so mm-hmm, mm-hmm. people that people that are accustomed and used to that kind of thing, if the money came from that resource, they would feel more comfortable. They would feel, it. oh, oh, it came, oh, he, we, that's a hard working person. So yeah, let me, you know, and, and that's something I can identify with. So uh, it passed my smell test. So yeah. Okay, so let, <clears throat> I got you. Now let's get into it. Now that you said that, let's get into it because you know what that insinuates to me 
that if it's coming from America, okay, uh-huh. if it's coming from America, okay, uh-huh. <laughs> then, then it's okay. Then it's okay. But then are we worshiping up and saying, well, this is okay. But then we have an African American gives the money. Now it's not okay. Mm. Okay, so that one mm. right there is yeah, what, side, what side of the fence, Vince, are we playing on? Because it seems like we got a battle. Now, again, you brothers know the HBCU by the back of your uh-huh. head. You're educating me. Seems like we got a battle at the top. Okay, when I say at the battle at the top, you got Howard Spellman, you got FAMU, you got Southern, and, and, and the money is, is tremendous at that level. I mean, it's tremendous. Right. Oh, yeah, no but doubt. It sounds like one came in and FAMU, which one thing about FAMU I do know, they are serious about their athletics. Mm. And when it comes to getting money for athletics and being able to get in the portal, do things like that. But I'm just shocked that we are all under the same umbrella, which means we all have one general goal. But why would we take an academic institution? Very at good. the level that FAMU is at and question their ability mm. in finances. You're questioning yeah, you, what yeah. you have done. You're questioning. <laughs> You're Very saying questioning. that you are do not have the ability to right. run a corporate enterprise business mm. and the donation was done in stock certificates, which it has mm. been validated. I don't know if it's been moved into a Fidelity account. I don't know which account has been moved into, but it was valid. And we are now questioning that. Now, right. Vince, help me out because I'm yeah, lost. I, I am lost. I, I, I was really baffled by, you know, the, um, and I've seen all the articles. I'm like, well, I mean, why are people, why, what are you questioning? Okay, now, Princeton University, and I was talking to you and John, you know, off air, uh, they bring in about a billion dollars a year. And unanonymous money, a billion dollars a year. So that's mm. 20 years, that's 20 billion dollars. And we questioning the hundred million dollars. Mm. I don't get that. Hundred million dollars. That's one school. Mm-hmm. Penn State, that's just one. Penn, that's Penn one State Ivy League school. Penn State that's right. You're right, Vince. Penn State's endowment last year was 900 million. Mm. Look at that. Unanonymous. Yeah. So I'm, I'm you know, uh, you know, but in FAMU, you know, they are a pretty, a pretty it is a pretty large school. Um, mm-hmm. It's about the, it's about the size of, I would say, uh, uh, University of Virginia, probably. They have about the same amount mm-hmm. of students, about the same amount of students. But, mm-hmm. um, you know, they don't, we, 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 we don't we don't question them. You know, and, 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 and they've been running, like you said, Mike, they've been running the school for years. Oh, yeah. It's all money. It's so all money. How to use the, they, they, they know how to use the money and run the school. They, they've been running it yeah. for years. So, why are you questioning them now? Because Vince, it's Amazing. because it's it's politically correct. <laughs> so you have a pol- <laughs> in the <laughs> eyes of the of, of, of the ones that of the powers that be, don't question us. We we we've been doing this. You're new to the game. See, they see see when, when you start coming on board and doing things that are untraditional and things that See, when people have hold you, when people have, have seen you and held you to a certain standard, and when you begin to now come outside of the box of that standard and you start doing things that they never thought that you would be able to do, that makes them feel uncomfortable. So now here's a donation of all this money. Now who's mm-hmm. next? But John, let me, let me mm-hmm. cut you off. You know, uh, and before we get, it's our own people though. These are not yeah. outside people. It's it's us. But 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 I didn't I'm not but but I, I hear you. But there are people that look like look look just because you skin to me don't make you kin to me. Mm. You understand? Okay. Just okay. Me, you know okay. <laughs> I heard, I heard, look, I, I, look I heard Farrakhan I heard Farrakhan say that he said just because just because you skin to me don't mean you kin to me, right? That's right. So you could be, you could look, you can look like me, have the same skin type, skin type I have, and all that. But you think a whole other way because of 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 the of the Kool Aid you've been drinking your whole life, or uh, which you which, which, the, the thing that you you have been exposing yourself to. Uh, now you look at the people that look like you that are trying to come up. Now you had down you you look at them a little sideways, you know, because mm-hmm. you've been drinking the Kool Aid of the people. 
uh, that look at us mm. the way now that that now that you have chosen to look at us. And so mm-hmm. that, that those those are the real kinds of things. Let me tell you something, man. This stuff, this 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 thing is real, man. This stuff is real, yeah. and they would love to put a stop to any other uh, alumni or any other person that would want to make a hefty donation. They want to they want to at least question it, put it out there in the atmosphere. Where I'm just, you know, I, well, I question that donation. I que- now, now, now they're gonna vet. They're gonna vet every every African American that or, or person of color that comes in that want to give money. Now they're gonna really scrutinize and 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 vet them to the degree that they may say, "Man, I ain't trying to go through all that." Man, I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm not putting myself in that situation. See, those kind of things happen. That's real. That's real stuff. Because people don't. People don't want to. They, they, you know, they don't want their good to be evil spoken of. Right. Yeah, so let me let me jump in. Let me ask you guys this then, because I'm not I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's black people against black yeah. people. We're HBC yeah. originals, so we don't yeah. have to skip. What we're doing yeah. is we're we're going after. It's like the Joneses. You know, when I grew up, we used to, they used to call it the Joneses, meaning if they got a new car, you get a new car. They get a right. new house, you get a new house. They paint their house, you paint your house. But because nobody has the ability to just go out and get two hundred thirty seven million dollars. OK, and because somebody else would have to match that. And if you go deeper, I mean, you have to look at it. Now, when you said traditional, this is what I thought about, because he's in the hemp business. OK, also mm-hmm. in the hemp business is the cannabis business. So let's let's yeah. just get it out there. Uh, call it what it is. Right. So. Now, when you have somebody who's involved with that and you want to make a donation, I mean, you also have partners involved because I saw, well, they're looking at his website. He didn't have this. None of that matters to a billionaire. I mean, a billionaire yeah. walking around today is not going to care how his website looks. He, he, yeah, can no, care he don't care. Yeah. He don't care. But the fact that there are others, and Vince, you hit on it when you said, well, now that he's been able to make the donation, others may want to come forth. But if they're going to go through the scrutiny of giving money, then I'd rather just keep the money or give the money somewhere else. So in actuality, what we're doing is we're, we're cutting our own head off because right. this attack did not come from America. There's nobody mm-hmm. in America questioning. And, and trust me, in America, if you if you have almost a quarter of a billion dollars. OK, and you're giving it away. Trust me, they got enough IRS and government officials that walk around on a daily basis <laughs> daily that day. look for that kind of activity. Yes. So I, 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 for the life of me, you got fam. You says, look, we've been on this for six months, six right. months. They've been saying we've been working through this transaction. Yeah. OK, we've been validated. We, we have done our due diligence. And now, Vince, you come back and you say, fam, you this is a scam. Now, to take it to the scam level, mm-hmm. that's, okay, that, that's that's an academic institution. Yeah, OK, yeah. That I, you got to help. Guys got to help me on this. Vince, <laughs> help me to, 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 to bring it up. The, the topic even up is like um, it reminds me. Um, I don't even want to say, it, but uh, of slavery days. You know, you have two sides, man. You know, um, you got to pick a side. Are you for are you for us or are you against us? Mm-hmm. You know, and even if even if you thought that you don't have to put it out in the air, you know, what I mean, you can talk amongst yourself and figure that out later on. You put it out in the air before we even got a chance to even see what was going on. Yeah. And so people people are, are sucking this up, they're hearing it, and mm-hmm. then they're already they're putting it out there. They're putting it out there. Oh, it's a scam, it's a scam. You don't even know the facts, don't yeah. know the story. Don't know the origination of where it came from. Like you said, six, it took six months to get to this point. They don't know any of it, but they're they're just putting out false information. And uh, it's a and, and, that, and the fact dangerous. and the fact that it's it. See, it, you know how things in our in our community. I mean, when you look at all the people that that you know, just you know, uh, uh, just, just all we need is a little bit. See, we don't, we don't need a whole lot. We just need a little bit, and then we go run tell that. And for, before you know it, it's, it's it, you know how you know bad news. Bad news travels way faster than good news, and so this mm-hmm. is a good thing that had been turned bad because amongst they they want to throw this in the air amongst 
uh, other HBCUs and to get the and just to get the the talk happening, all that kind mm -hmm. of conjecture that is really negative and brings a negative uh, dismerchment against you know the university, and so they want to mm -hmm. keep that going, and that's sad. That's so sad because you know we need more young men like this, more industrial young men that go out and and take on the challenges of the world and say, listen, I believe. I'm supposed to be a multi-billionaire. I believe I'm supposed. I'm, I, you know, I'm, I, you know, college did a little something for me, but the money that I'm making now is as a result of what I feel like I deserve and what I feel like I want and how I want to provide for my family. So, like I said before, great things are born outside the system, but when you get outside the system and start doing things like this man is making, making power moves like he is, hemp business. You know, he's in the cryptocurrency. And if he's doing all that, I guarantee you he's in the real estate. He got all he, he got all kind of stuff that goes on, right? A lot of the things that are happening in his life and in the lives of particularly young, successful black African American men, these things happen outside of the traditional system. Because if you're gonna become a multi-billionaire, right? You know, you may you're not gonna have you're not gonna be able to do it the traditional way. The mm -hmm. traditional mm -hmm. way is going to get a job, right? You know that's the that's the traditional way. So we have so he went the unconventional, untraditional way, and he took on he he took on the challenges of life, and he said, "Listen, I want to go out here and I want to make a tremendous difference." And so he owns companies and all that kind of stuff. I love it, man. I, I mean, I, I love it. I love it. Well, yeah, I, uh, I do too. I, yeah. I, didn't mean to I, I love, love it too. No, I love it too. But here's here's the difference between, you know, the untraditional way and the non-traditional way, because there was an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement. OK, right. so we're taking it a step farther. When you get to the non-disclosure agreement, I mean, that's the same as two corporations coming together. And I'm going to share, you know, my proprietary information. You're going to share yours. Mm -hmm. When I bring you a quarter billion dollars. OK, we must be clear about one thing. This is not to be discussed. So it all, I, I'm almost looking that that was a blessing in disguise for a fam you only because they would have had a lot of questions they would have had to explain. Now mm -hmm. with the non-disclosure agreement, I mean, you're bound legally where you are not in a, in a position to discuss it, mm -hmm. which a lot of the questions that you want are brought up. We, we have a non-disclosure agreement. What's yeah. your thoughts on that? Mm. Uh, I, 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 I like it. I like it. And um, I always tell you know, me why. I ask you a question, you a yeah, question ahead, about, about, about the non disclosure, about the non disclosure, though, and anonymous. Are those two the same in that world? Would that be considered the same? It, 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 it would not. It would not. It would not. Um, you know, you could have an anonymous donor come in and say, you know, here, I'd like to give you a million dollars and two million dollars. Um, and I want to remain anonymous. OK, that's fine. OK, the president says no problem. Mm -hmm. Now, when you get to a non-disclosure agreement, you've got legal involved. OK, this is a document. This document has uh, the entire transaction, the position, the steps, what you can and what you cannot discuss. So this, mm -hmm. you've turned it into a legal document, okay? Yeah. which means if you go out mm -hmm. and start talking about the resources and where you, where you receive the money mm -hmm. and how you got it, here's what happens next. Well, he's going to bring that non-disclosure agreement forward and said, I didn't want anybody to know about this. So therefore you have right. breached our contract mm -hmm. and therefore we're going to go ahead and remove and that was one of the, the subjects that came up before mm. where the same gentleman was going to buy some real estate and he didn't quite finish the transaction. He didn't make it to this stage, mm -hmm. but <clears throat> anonymous just means, Hey, I gave some money. I want to be anonymous. You record it as anonymous donation. You can move on. The non disclosure agreement moves more to we're doing business together. Yeah, Something right. there's yeah, more yeah. to it than he's in the agriculture. Fam, yeah. is in agriculture. So there's more to the partnership than exactly. is actually being disclosed. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that partnership that they actually created, um, and this is the this is the gentleman right here I wanted to show everybody. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, Germani, um, how do you pronounce his name? Gregory Germani? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. And um, the partnership that he created um, was, I guess, like you said, with the land grant. So they have mm-hmm. some land. And it's similar to how Del State um, gives out land to uh, the state of Delaware to um, grow crops and stuff. And then they mm-hmm. share the proceeds with Delaware State. So it's, it's similar to that. But I guess in his, in his case, he wants to be growing hemp uh, mm-hmm. on some of the, some mm-hmm. of the open land. And mm-hmm. and and um in return, um, I guess he'll get the proceeds, um, and they also get they'll also pro, you know get proceeds as well. Mm-hmm. So, um, but I, I mean I I I like it. You know, listen, they have the land. You know, it's uh it's illegal. Um, it's not harming anybody. So you know, hey, yeah, I, I like, think it's I great. Like it. I think it's great. I mean, it's 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 the American way. <laughs> now, is there a danger zone? Then let me present it a different way. Is there a danger zone out there? Because, <clears throat> and, and and me and Vince you talked about it. You did a show recently on the NIL. Okay, and the HBCU is a brand. It's an existing brand today. It's a corporate enterprise brand that has been built off of education. Mm-hmm. Um, and what has always been the challenge, um, even with the NILs, is whenever you have a billionaire or someone come in and they want to donate, they're really almost putting in competition with the brand. While you'll see North Carolina State, they don't mind yeah. having a student athlete or a football player mm-hmm. get a million dollar NIL and they represent North Carolina Wildcat football. They're out there, they're promoting the athletic department. Okay, mm-hmm. with HBCU, they are not allowing, in my position that I see, anyone to take that brand and start promoting that brand within an athlete's personal use, okay? Because Mm -hmm. the brand stands for education, okay? And they're not operating like the PWI or the predominantly white institutions where you got Arkansas and they have Jerry Jones with the Cowboys. Uh, Mm -hmm. Walmart went to Arkansas. So they can come in and give each one and give them a billion dollars. They can do whatever they want with it, and they can give that young man or young woman a million dollars. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, when you start getting investors to give in a quarter billion dollars, 500, a billion, okay, that investor, whatever business they're in, is going to somehow come up. Are they larger than the HBCU brand? Where, mm-hmm. where is that power shift going to come? Because money <coughs> buys entitlement. As yep. you notice, the gentleman at uh, FAMU. Uh, you you gentlemen are well connected in HBCU or whoever gives the commencement mm-hmm. at the HBCU usually is a very powerful individual yes, and sir. their their contributions are very high. Like at Shaw, my daughter goes to Shaw, the mm-hmm. United Negro College Fund is going to do the commencement. OK, mm-hmm. so in the HBCU, nothing goes above that brand and the traditional way of getting the money. However, we fast forward to today, we have Teslas, we have Elon Musk, we have a lot of individuals that have made a lot of money, Bitcoin, as you said, currency, digital currency in a Mm -hmm. short period of time. How much of a competition is that going to have with money (laughs) and the HBCU brand? Uh, Where do we draw the line? Yeah, I was wondering about that, too. I said, um, it's going to be a bidding war. Um, with mm-hmm. different universities who have land, who have land to offer. Now, 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 now um, people who don't know, that's not the only school who, who have. Uh, FAMU was at the first school who has donated land for hemp use, mm-hmm. and other. There's now um, UMEs, Eastern Shore. Yeah, UME. Uh, yeah. There's plenty of schools um, who 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 are, who are selling land, just not at that particular price range. Now mm-hmm. he donated two hundred million. Now they're probably donating way less more, you know, for mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. you know some of the land. But um, mm-hmm. and they the same thing. They they bid it for the land as well. Listen, we'll give you this mm-hmm. much money. Let us have this land, and we'll be a part of your mm-hmm. program. Mm-hmm. So it happens. I mean, it happens every day. Um, I mean, just, I mean the like, needle like, the needle is being pushed on so many different levels. You know, what I mean, it, it really is because because you know to your point. You know, money might money is involved, and you have all different entities that are untraditional entities that are coming to a traditional setting, but they have money. 
Mm -hmm. They have money. Mm -hmm. And like you said, money talks. Whoever got the most money That's has right. the biggest voice. Right? Influence. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. yeah. Listen, mm -hmm. if, listen if, if you and your wife are together and she make it look, if she make more money than you, uh, she gonna have she gonna have she gonna have a voice. She's gonna have more influence. She's gonna have more influence. She's gonna have more influence. Come on. It's in right. our, it, right. it, 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 we can we can go as as traditional as a as a married couple, all the way to a, a university. It, listen, whoever has the money, listen, they they, they get they, the king's the king got the gold, he, the king gets to speak, or the queen gets to speak. She has a voice, mm -hmm. or he has yeah. a voice. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, that's right. what's happening in our world today. And mm -hmm. you know, we it's, it's making the adjustment just like just like you know we're making the adjustment with uh 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 the nil name and image mm -hmm. and likeness. Now all players get to play. This is th this didn't happen years ago. And I remember the conversation that it always well. How come these players ain't getting paid? Look how much the university is making. I mean these these questions yeah. was was really. I mean back in this this goes far back. Like like uh uh. uh I, I remember when um uh who the, the 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 running rebels, um, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. the be. running rebels, the way them boys mm -hmm. was playing. I mean they 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 was. I mean they they was out there like Cirque du Soleil playing ball. I mean they mm -hmm. were just throwing it up and 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 listen. And and grandma mom was coming to get it. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's or, the truth. That's I mean, the truth. Yeah. You just had and 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 people looked at that and said. Man, somebody need to be. They, they need to be paying these athletes. How much money is the university getting for all this, all this kind of stuff going on? And so now, there is a there's a change of the guard that is taking place, and some people are really uncomfortable with it because now, uh, the uh, the 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 uh, HBCUs are able to play. Or, or, and, and and I guarantee you, money, Mike, that 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 rule is going, something's going to change. No, nah, mm -hmm. I, I don't believe something's going to change in that rule of not be of of the the athletes not not them not being able to get the money or use the university the university name in order for our athletes to get paid. That that is going to change. Trust me, that's going to mm -hmm. change mm -hmm. because yeah, I don't, when I don't you believe think, look, at all, look at all this happening in our world today. Look at all these athletes that are now all of them getting paid. Mm -hmm. Even the mm -hmm. female athletes, even the well, yeah. I mean, everybody is getting paid. Look at Prime Time over in Colorado, his sons and everybody else on the team. There's people out there getting this money, and you're not going to tell me that uh, 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 the HBCUs are going to gonna sit back and watch this happening while our kids that come from the hood, come on now, some mm -hmm, of them can barely mm -hmm. get in a college. And mm -hmm, now they mm -hmm. get into college and they making your college look good because they coming. Mm -hmm. They come it's some they of them, it's some of these athletes that get recruited by Duke, North Carolina and all these big schools, hey, they might want to come to an HBCU. Oh yeah, but well, John, now you got something. Yeah, they might want to come to an HBCU. Yeah. Let me let me let me, next, let me interject for a sec. Let me, okay, go you ahead, got go something ahead, there. Go ahead, money, and, I know, and I know, I know, Vince don't agree with you. He think it's not going to change. But John, you you laying yeah. it out that pretty clear yeah. is the athletes are coming in and the talent yeah. is so good. What John is saying, Vince, and I'm gonna let you give you a rebuttal that uh -huh. these big schools. They coming in, they plucking them off, man. You could be at a CIA, you could be at a SEAC, a MEAC, a SWAC. Uh -huh. You a Come freshman on. or a sophomore. They walking through the door and saying, hey, look, I got 100000 for you. Now, you staying in a dormitory that doesn't have the good right. infrastructure, okay? And they are, they are bouncing out. They are saying goodbye, HBCU. Come and they on. are oh, no. bouncing over to the PWI. I, so go ahead, bitch. You said it's never going to change. But you were saying that John point, was saying <clears throat> No, I, I, he was talking about. I don't think it was about that point. I think John. I was talking about the point of. He said he thinks it's going to change as far as I'm getting the money. Is that what you were saying? No, 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 no. What I'm saying is, because the HBCU holds this, uh, this thing about education up and saying that we're not going to, uh, allow them to use our name in order to for our athletes to get paid. Because I think that's oh, that, I think that's the I think I think that's the friction on that's the that's the thing 
that is the separator between HBCUs and the PWI. The PWI, they get money from alumni. They get money from they that money coming in from well, from that they come they, that money coming in from companies. Listen, it's coming in, and so what's going? Well, what's, no, 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 I, no, no, this no, is no, what no, I see. No, this is what I see no, happening. Hold on, hold on a second. Let me rebuttal for you. Let me rebuttal what you said. I don't believe that because they have been getting money. You just don't know it. It's just that it's levels in the same as HBCUs. There's levels like there is in the other big schools, the Power Five schools. They got Power Five schools and HBCUs as well. You got Howard. They've been getting money. You got FAMU. They've been getting money. North Carolina A&T. Well, they've been getting. Money. But but now but you're, talk, you're talking about a different way. You're talking about a different no, way no, there. No, no. I mean, you're talking about a different, different way. way. But but they also be getting deals. Yeah. Nike, Nike, Adidas. Yeah, yeah but that's but that but no, no, Vince. That's what the the coaches have been benefiting off that for years. The yeah, coaches no, have been getting paid. Wait, wait, wait Vince. The coaches have because I, I play ball at the school, but I, I know that the the the, the coaches have been getting paid though. for years off of that, on, and the kids have not, and the students hold have on, not been getting I'm anything. I'm referring to the players, the players what? in these particular schools in the yeah. swag and all them. These sure. guys are getting money from NIL NI deals, but the but the players that come out of CIAA or smaller smaller conferences are not. These traditional schools like Howard University, they have two kids who are about to go pro. So yeah, have, but, 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 but 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 I'm talking about the point that we we had discussed with money with uh, money Mike was talking about um, that the HBCUs weren't going to use their I guess their status. Mm -hmm. In brand. order to in order pr to promote oh, a no. player, I disagree. They're promoting it right now. They're doing it. Well, okay, that's how it. so let me. Yeah, I get you, Vince. But let me ask school. you a different way. The bigger school. The bigger school. Well, hold on, Vince. Let me ask. Let me let uh, me present that question in a different way so that you can uh, let's see if your position is still the same. Okay, so granted, you got the Howard Spellman. Their athletes are getting money. Okay, but let's let's get to it like UCLA. Or let's get to it like Alabama. As a student athlete, I can utilize the brand of University of Alabama, okay, or mm -hmm. Oklahoma Sooners, okay, and I can market my personal NIL utilizing the Oklahoma Sooners brand. So when the money comes in from that NIL and it goes to the student athlete, that money is 100% belongs to the student athlete, okay? That money does not belong to the university, mm -mm. okay? They, that's why they have the individual NIL deals that the student athlete can sign. Now, here's my question where I think that, that in the HBCU, you write in the challenges, is the fact that is the HBCU going to allow that track athlete, because I know Vince does track, who just ran a 9-8, nine, nine, are they going to allow that to go out there and say HBCU Winston-Salem State and allow somebody to give them a million dollars? under that HBCU brand. And now when they give them that million dollars, they're in no obligation to give any of that money to the university. So that's what I mean right. by being allowed to use the brand. Mm -hmm. So when well, you're gonna, sitting I'm there at Yeah. Right. So, so I'm gonna give you a fact. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a point in fact right now. Uh, Mike Ross, who was, I was telling you before, who was an Olympian who ran for North Carolina a and was getting paid from Adidas and didn't have to give a dime and, and using the same, there's local, because they made the contract. Once the contract was signed, we can use your likeness agreement and not give you any money. The school also got money from Adidas as well. So it was two separate contracts. He got paid, they got paid. And he didn't have to That's a, a major of, issue. Of, of that's money. a major that's issue. Yeah. Yeah. That's now, a major he, issue. Now, now he's an Olympian. Right. So it, it's, it's it, you know, it depends on the athlete because their brain is still getting promoted no matter what. Even in the power five. So if it's a if it's a particular student, some students may have different deals than others. So it depends well, on that, who that's that's the deal because the student athlete <laughs> again, again, you, you I get your point, but I don't yeah. see anybody out there saying I'm Spellman, okay, and well, I'm, I'm running playing basketball for Spellman, and I have an NIL deal that's coming under the brand of Spellman. You, you, this is where I'm going with this because this is a major holdup in a lot yep. of funds. Yep. Because, mm -hmm. and you've even said it before, Vince, you have a lot of African-Americans want to donate, okay? But if they can't put their brand ahead or the brand of HBCU cannot be utilized. Mm -hmm. So that is stopping mm -hmm. a lot of that money that these athletes should be able to receive 
Okay. And it, and it, it here's where they want it to go. And there, everybody probably won't like me saying this or how I say it, but this is why I just perceive in my opinion is they want it to be a corporate NIL, have it go to the school mm-hmm. and have the school fund the money back to the athletics. Yeah. Oh, See no. that, that, and skim, that, and, that skim, and skim some off the top. Nah, nah, well, I I like go, I'm not gonna go. In, I'm not going that, job, But, but yeah. what I'm saying is, hey, hey, you, but you know, they, you know, there, they, you know, they do that with grants. They do that it's with grants and all that. They're supposed to go to one entity. That's right. And what happens is, but before it, you know, before it gets there, it's so skimmed down. The, 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 yeah. That that particular organization or entity within the college or what have you hardly gets anything because now the uh, 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 you know the funds have been skimmed down. And I'm hoping yeah. that this doesn't happen uh, with this NIL. To your point, Money Mike, that it doesn't happen where they build a corporation and now they get to now disperse the money as they see fit. I don't. I. I. I, I don't. I don't agree with that. Yeah, and that's challenging. That. Yeah, that's challenging because challenging. you know Jackson State. Okay, here's the deal. This. This is where it gets challenging. Okay, Jackson State just had a WNBA player get drafted. Okay, mm-hmm. from Jackson State. Okay, which yeah, I remember the, the, the young lady. I remember that. The value of that young lady's net worth, okay, is no different than Caitlin Clark. Okay, she's the first HBCU. Now, she also could have had a million dollar HBCU NIL that would have went hand in hand with the brand. Okay, mm-hmm. and also Jackson State would not have lost the coach to mm-hmm. Charlotte. Yeah. Okay, because mm-hmm. the salary that coach in Jackson State who produced that player, okay, mm-hmm. and you had a gentleman on in your backyard, Philadelphia and grassroots, John. That mm-hmm. coach salary should go up. Oh, that right. coach salary should go up through the roof through because the roof. now you have you have a player that you produce, which means you can get other high talent. Yes, but they didn't want to pay, so guess where she went? University of North Carolina, Charlotte. Mm. Okay, now you're in a different ball game to where mm. it's not an HBCU, it's an African American community, and Charlotte has no problem promoting the coach, promoting athletics, because a lot of a lot of it is not under the brand. And I respect the HBCU because it's about education. Yeah. Okay? And people yeah. sacrifice their lives for that education. Sure. So I think we got a traditional way, and I'm just thinking outside the box, I could be way off where you have individuals who make money pretty rapidly today. It's Mm -hmm. not going to take 30 years and, you know, a 401k plan. It's taking them 24 months and they have multi millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. And now the donation will be less traditional, Mm -hmm. but somewhere there's going to be a train wreck because, Oh yeah. Let's face it. We got the athletes. We have the talent. We got all the talent. Mm-hmm. And when they pluck in our talent, and Vince, you know track. And John, yeah. you know basketball, man. If they see a young freshman come in there that can that can man, get listen. it in and can go score and can come go on. have a <laughs> shot at the NBA, they coming to get that. Now, they might also be telling the university, here's a little something for you. We don't want to take That's everything. Right. Okay, right. we'll give you a little something too. Yeah. But and it builds a relationship because you you got to give up the player, you know, yeah, if you no don't want to put the no money doubt. behind it. That's so, right. Fam, right. You, yeah, fam, you talking about national championships. So right. if they getting $237 million, that's right. called collectives. And, it, and and for people or under, just to help us out, because we're this HBCU original thing, man, this got me by my heart. Okay. Yeah. And you brothers yeah. got me by my heart. You brothers are Christian brothers. And what I'm trying to say here is that money can transform an athletic program because mm-hmm. we don't want to lose our athletes. That's right. We don't want to question mm-hmm. how we get the money. I, I, for the life of me, and for the young men and young women who feel this is a story, you know what? You start questioning the money flow, okay? And you guys remember the show The Wire when a detective got on the money flow and he started finding out all the politicians and who was getting money from who. Yeah, yeah. And when you right. when you start Follow getting in money. that money flow, Ooh, well, that's money. dangerous now. That's, that's dangerous. dangerous. Yeah, you you touch, you, you touching the lifeline. That's exactly. right. You, you touching the lifeline, so it's it's it's, it's you know it, it, it's going to be that. But you know what, man? I was you know, I, I wanted to bring up a point, um, just about 
uh, Ice Cube real quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He uh, he had first offered to give Caitlin Clark uh, five million dollars. Okay, that, and that, when that didn't that didn't ice make her cube. move, yeah, Ice Cube. Mm -hmm. You said uh, when Kate, that didn't make, uh, who, who, who Kate, was the young lady? Caitlin Clark. He, he originally, oh, I think the original piece he threw out there was five million. If I'm Ooh. not mistaken, it may have been three. It's three to five million he threw out there. Now, when Ooh. she didn't jump at that, uh, because her her family said, "Now nah, we going we you know they got other plans, right?" So she didn't jump at that. Then she got more money from Nike. Nike, you know, signed her a, a beautiful deal where she's making all kinds of millions of dollars. And then Ice Cube says, okay, five million didn't work. Now he throws it up. I think it was somewhere, you know, between 10 mm -hmm. and 16 million, something like that. He now throws that out. Now, I, you know, when I think about it, I'm like, we have so many other athletes. You know, what about, what about, uh, 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 Angel Reese, how come she yeah. wasn't a part of the deal? How come she didn't get offered two million dollars? What about you know, uh, uh, you know, there, there's so many of them that you know uh, uh, that could have that could have qualified, right? To to at least get two, three, four million because the uh, the three on three only lasts. They only, they ain't got it's not a a, a really long right. season. Right. Mm -hmm. So, but there was, mm -hmm. but my thing was, here's my point is that nobody else was offered anything. Right. Nobody, nobody, uh, nobody. was offered anything. Nobody, and, no, uh, no. And even no other, and, and, and watch it, no other white athlete to my knowledge. Yep. yep. Right. It was only her. It was no other, and, 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 and it, it was no other black athlete. Now we got, we got African American athletes that can, that, that can play, that can go too. I think she was, they she, can. was the face, she was the face of uh women's basketball, John. So get it, I, I mean, get it. And part of it's and, business. And, all, and, and but, also but, she's a one she's a once in a lifetime, and I don't want to say it player. You understand what I'm saying too? Where, I hear what you're saying, but I, I you know, but but there, well, but you got you know, other ones out there that, that are that are you know that are good as well. But I there, hear what you're saying. There's been some other 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 Caucasian good players, but not yeah, like and I'm not just saying just the, the black, I'm saying Nobody else was offered anything, only her. Well, John, they get paid. They already getting paid. Huh? They, they already getting paid. They already getting paid. Let them yeah, no, no, I'm, no, I'm no, no, no. What, 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 what he said, Vince. Let me, let me bring yeah, it along, Vince, because this, this grassroots here is deep. What he said yeah, is they've been playing, paying the other. They've been paying the other players like three hundred thousand dollars. And we want to take a moment before I even get to the next. Let's talk about Swift Pro and let's talk about our sponsor of today's show and what Swift Pro. If you want to give a just an explanation of Swift Pro, what they do, how they do it, let's just take a moment and talk about our sponsor. Make sure we let everybody know. Go ahead, Vince. So Swift Pro is um, is a marketing firm, and they're running out of Philadelphia. So if you guys, you can go to SwiftPro.com, check them out, uh, Swift Pro Biz, and uh, give them a call. All right, so, all right. Uh, so, and I've been so, a recipient of Swift Swift Pro for a while, and they do excellent, excellent, excellent work. So anybody out there that is in the need of any uh vid videography any uh anything websites whatever the case may be as far as your marketing needs hey swift pro is there's there's no other place you need to be looking swift pro swift pro that's hey, beautiful and i want i want to take hey, that acknowledgement bench you have something else you want to say hey, hey mike i wanted to ask you a question about what you just said about uh caitlin I mean, and uh reese right and i know john mentioned reese angel angel now, reese now, yeah now, now, reese, now reese was was already getting the nil deal of, of a couple million if I'm not correct, right. so right. that's what. That, that's not, what I, yeah, I, no, I no, get so that. John, wait, hold on, hold on. That's what I was saying to you. That is some okay. players are making money that we don't even know about. Now there's right. a couple of players in, in the NCAA who are making millions. Right. I'm just, I mean, I'm just giving you examples. Yeah. To Dora making 15 million, and he ain't got the NFL for it yet. He ain't got a contract yet. So I'm saying to you that they're making money. Yeah, he, him money. and his brother bought his dad a house, a mansion. They bought a house. So so he got here's the difference. With and, that, a, and a Lamborghini. That's and like a Lamborghini, it, just yeah. like his sneakers. Black and difference. white, just like his sneakers. Big difference. Right. Big difference. Because Big if you notice when you get in there with Shadur, Shiloh, Deion Sanders, okay, they don't have to mention Colorado University at all. 
Okay, yeah. they're, 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 that's the difference I'm talking about with the HBCU. So you would have to be recognizing because no HBCU really wants somebody to come in, which he actually did come in in Jackson State. Okay, he came in, did the exact same thing in Jackson State that he's doing in Colorado. Okay, yeah. the challenge only began when the money fund, it started to grow. It got bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, mm. so... And now he's at Colorado, and he's doing the exact same thing. However, mm-hmm. you take Caitlin Clark. Here's here's what the deal is. In the WNBA, the players that are playing in the WNBA are not the best players in the world. Okay, The WNBA is considered the overseas. Like, we have the men who go overseas to play mm-hmm. there. Okay, yeah. They have to go over there because they're getting paid less money. They're not getting money in the NBA. For mm-hmm. the women, our WNBA pays the less money. That's why yeah. you have Brittany Griner going over to Russia, China, being there because mm. the salary is $3 million a year. You're not getting yeah. that oh. salary in the WNBA. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now we fast forward and you have a player that comes along. Okay. And I always say you got American, American pie and you got sweet potato pie. Caitlin Clark, sweet potato pie. Uh, Caitlin, uh, excuse me. Caitlin Clark is the apple pie. Okay. Mm-hmm. 100%. All right. And so yeah, when you no cross doubt. no doubt. you go over to the other side, Angel Reese is a sweet potato pie. Okay? Yeah. So now <laughs> exactly. America buys more apple pie than sweet potato pie. So when it came opening night, they didn't care who was playing. They didn't mm-hmm. care who was on the floor. They shut down the entire WNBA. We're showing one game and one, one game, game only. Okay. Yeah, exactly. One game and one game only. Now, when it comes to revenue, okay, you have Puma, you had the big three getting in and ice cube was just driving up the money. I mean, he, he was having fun with it. He probably knew all along. I've never, she's never going to sign with me because yeah. the client image don't align in corporate America. Your client images have to align. So yeah. I'm just going to drive up the price in case she yeah. does want to come over <laughs> here. So it forced exactly. everybody else price to go up yeah. now. And this is serious business. Let me tell you why you got Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. Mm. The two of them have sold more jerseys than mm. the entire NBA combined. Okay. Mm. The entire NBA combined. Now, you two people, and you got 400 players in the NBA. That tells you the relevance of it. Mm-hmm. So now you go a step further. They have created an income gap, which mm. they're all WNBA players, where Caitlin Clark's money is way up here, and mm-hmm. all the other players are down here making less than a million dollars a game, mm-hmm. making yeah. a year. Okay, so that's a big disparity in income. Okay, yes, right. Now, how are they going to salvage that? Because they have to do a whole lot of things in America when they find somebody they're getting behind. So Nike, they jumped in. But to Caden Clark, that's like Tom Brady to America. Okay, let's face it. Mm-hmm. There's nothing you're going to do. I mean, that's a revenue-generating machine. And by the mm-hmm. time you get, get to it, we're in entertainment. But it's also we got a business we got to run. We got a business. I'm gonna at the end of the, the day, yeah, it's a business. It's a business. No matter who you are, yeah. you know. And they're yeah. looking in the NBA right now. The NBA. So we're having a little bit of technical issues. Hmm. Okay. So we're, having, okay. we're having a little issue with Mike's um boy, uh Mike. So um John, you know, uh we'll go ahead and just discuss. But yeah, the, the Caitlin, um, you know, to, to her situation, you know, she, she I think she's helping bring it bring up the other players as well. Oh, no doubt. Which, yeah, which is good and bring the money revenue up too, which is good. Yes. And some of that money can trickle on down and bring some of the other mm-hmm. HBCU players up too as well. So mm-hmm. you know, um, and is and is on as a collective, it's going to help the the NB the WNBA. It's going to yeah. help everybody. Her her ascension to where she has risen to thus far is going to be a blessing to everyone. Everybody yeah. going to eat, and yeah. eventually everybody's going to eat, and it's going to be a it's going to be. Listen, yeah. the table is spread, and the feast of the Lord is going on. Uh, yeah. at the in the WNBA and WNBA and they get and, and it's get ready it's gonna be live and I'm gonna tell you I believe this is my belief in the next three to five years 
the WNBA is going to be just as hot, if not hotter, than the in the NBA. Watch. Mm. Hey, oh, it's coming. A- it's coming. It's coming because the dollars are coming that way. And if you look yeah. at the athletes, look at the girl. I, I watched the video on uh, Instagram the other day, and I saw this young girl who couldn't have been that much taller than me on a fast break. And I mean, she jumped out the gym and dunked it on another girl. I mean, this is Whoa. the mon- this is the belief. It's the belief. You know, it's the Roger Bannister. You know, it's the belief that I can run a mile, you know, in under seven minutes. You know what I'm saying? It's the mm-hmm. whole, it's, the, it's it's that whole deal. And so once that belief started starts manifesting throughout through, throughout this this whole uh this world, because you got young girls right now that are dreaming that they can be uh Caitlin Carr, uh Angel Reese, you know, or they 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 and 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 you got these girls working out, they in the gym doing, and I mean, I'm telling you, it's get ready to be on and popping in the WNBA. That's my prediction. That's my Definitely. prediction within the next three to five years. Is Mike back on? Let me see. No, nah, you're still off, Mike. You're still off. Um, so we're still having difficulties. Um, but that's but, um, but Vince, but Vince, that's my that's my prediction that that's so mm-hmm. that is that is gonna happen. And then when you look at social media, the social media is pumping this stuff up, it is driving the revenue, it is, I mean, it is driving this whole thing to a whole nother level. You know, because mm-hmm. you got if you look at you know Caitlin Clark's videos and look at how many times they've been played and replayed, look at all the different things that have been happening as far as you know her individual um accomplishments and what she is pushing out in the environment is just absolutely mm-hmm. amazing. And you got young girls all over the world that's watching all these, her, Angel Reese, and the rest of them. It's just going to be on and popping. That young girl, uh, it's, a young, it's a young African-American girl. I think she didn't decide to come out, but she was a freshman. I can't think of her name, but she was a black girl. She was a freshman. And she, I think she she played, they were in the final four, I want to say. Uh, and she was just incredible. And she decided to stay at the school. So, um, you know, so that that's that's just going to promote it even more. And I'm really excited about, you know, just the uh, the potential uh, of, of where this whole thing is going. I'm, I'm, I really am. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right. Are we back on yet? Uh, oh, yeah. I think you still come here. You might still have a little bit of difficulty with Mike. But we're gonna um we're about to uh you know tone it down because um we're running out of time today, folks. But today's message was uh, loud and clear. We wanted to encourage all HBCUs to receive donations and funding from any resource, as long as it's not negative. I'm all for mm-hmm. it. We're all for it. Yes, you know, up and it's student, legal. you know, yeah. You know, um, our people got to come together. We got we got to do better. We got to yeah. do better. We can't down, you know, down try to our, our own, um, you know, and shoot ourselves in the butt. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and people out there, look, look, if you want to donate, donate anonymously or anonymously. Just give, just give if you can, you know. And um, to the ones and like who are the, and like, here, the, like the word said, Vince, give. And it should be given back to you. Press down, right. shaking together, right. and running over, over and over and over. Students, it's going to help bring in students. It's going to help bring our athletics programs up. That's right. And That's right. So we can do things that giving. we need to be done. Just you keep know? giving. I'm, uh, and 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 if you give with the right heart and with the right intention, guess what? Everybody's going to be blessed. All right, folks. Well, that's it. And listen, if you'd like to support our program. Here's our slot. Donate to the HBCU original cause. Help out our broadcast to continue to get out quality info to the viewers. And like I say, thank co-host Money Mike, JL Williams today. Um, you'll see us on um, next week. Um, tune in, please. Uh, everybody, we just want to say thank you for coming out. And that's HBCU original. Thank you. <laughs>